Welcome back to Kelvin's Queen TV, everybody. My name is Ross, and we're playing Pool of Radiance. We're going to do the Temple of Bane. That requires us to go to the uh, Temple of Tyr and meet Bishop Brachio. He's going to give us the, the quest officially. And he is located uh, in this building here. Let's get at it. You're ushered into the bishop's study. Bishop Brachio speaks. Allow me to introduce Durton, priest of Ilmar. He is bound to recover the temple which has been desecrated to Bane. Go with him across the river and help him to cleanse the temple. In payment, you may keep the hidden treasures. Do the company Durton? Yes. Now, I know this game pretty well. And my brothers and I have played this game a lot. We disagree about a lot of things, about different ways to play this game. One thing we all agree on is Durton sucks. In combat, he does nothing but pray or uh, he throws hammers or gives himself a spiritual hammer and then just, I don't know, drops it or something. It's pretty much useless in combat. Unless you make him cast all his shitty spells and have him relearn new ones. So that's what we're going to do. Uh... First of all, let's take a look at him. He's a 67-year-old human male. Um, his stats are not great, so we need him to cast spells, really. Uh, for items, he's just got his holy symbol and his mace. Oops. Uh, what kind of armor? Chainmail. So we can also, we have enough money, we can outfit him with better things. We'll give him a shield, first of all, and give him plate mail as well. We're going to go to our guy. This guy here. Bye. Um, already has a mace. We're gonna buy that shield and that plate mail. Oops. View items. Trade. Notice how I'm not giving him any of my magical stuff. He's he's not worthy. So, ready this stuff. Oh. Like that. So, it brings his armor class down to two, which is really helpful. The other thing we're going to do go to this inn. Let's check out his spells magic, cast. Bless. See, here's the thing Bless is a good spell, prayer is a good spell, too. We want him to cure people. Cure light wounds. That's that's his job. Cast this. Sure, everyone's blessed. Bless is great. He gives everybody like a plus four to the, like all their rolls. Slow poison. We don't really care about. Spiritual hammer. Don't care. Fine traps. Not helpful. We have a thief here. We'll let him keep prayer. But memorize nothing but cure wounds and hold person, my friend. That is your job. And now we're going to go to the Temple of Bane. Uh, the Temple of Bane is located across the river, like they said. So we have to use the passenger docks. There's no way they're on foot. Well, unless you exit the city through, like, uh, Potal Plaza or the Textile House and walk around. North side of the bay. Board about. Uh, we're going to enter the north part of the city. North. So this is Coville Mansion. You guys remember Coville Mansion? Go south to the wealthy part of town, which we've already cleared. There might there might be some monsters here. Okay, great. Surprise by works. Hey, uh, uh. Turton has a tendency to cast spells at the wrong time. Like right now, we don't need any spells. Not needed. Why that guy? Why? Why was it that guy? Hmm. 
swing at me. I should also mention that the Temple of Bane is not an easy fight. Uh, there are a lot of orc leaders. It means a lot of arrows will be flying. There are just a lot of people. So, frankly, you're going to need people casting whole person a lot. We're going to need people casting fireball. I'm trying to remember if I had helper memorize fireball. I don't think I did. So probably going to backtrack into Koval Mansion to make sure we have the right spells. What are you doing? Stop. No, just let the other one go. Praying. Awesome. <laughs> I mean, that's just fantastic. That's right. Uh, Temple Bane is to the west. I do believe. We already have a uh, leather holy symbol. Get into the temple. Hey, buds. Okay. Bought a group of goblins. The monsters staying ready. Who hate them so much they run away? Oh. Moles, better watch your step, or you shall feel the wrath of Bane. Here it is. We made it. Once you get into the temple, there's no way out. You have to fight your way out. Look, they're pretty civil over here. There's nothing else in these buildings. It's just the Temple of Aim. What I'm doing there is I am parlaying and I'm using the abusive language because that's what, that's what they respond to. That's how they leave you alone. Ugh. Just let me go. You do not have to do these wandering encounters. As a matter of fact, if you do, I don't think they let you into the temple. Surprised by goblins? Doing what? Why can't the juice move? Oh, she's got a lot of cash on her. Give some to juice. Alright, well that was... dumb. Here we go. Stand in front of the t uh, entrance to the large shadowy temple, an old, blind, decrepit orc stands outside with eight orc guards. As you approach, they move, allowing you entrance into the temple. So now, there are a few ways you can go about this. You can rob all the treasures. There are, there are three spots in here with secret doors, a lot of treasure underneath. Or you can just go ahead and destroy the altar. Um, I actually think the best way to do this is to steal the treasure because then you have these weird partitions there on the battlefield which help block you from some of the archers. Or you can be brash and just YOLO, which is what we're doing. In front of you is an altar that is smeared with blood and covered with crude black handprints. What will you do? Destroy the altar. As you destroy the altar, the temple doors fly open and a screaming horde of orcs led by half war cleric attack. Face time, meet them. Fireball. Fireball. Fire, 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 fireball. My favorite. Get ready. <laughs> Gotta take out that orc cleric. Nice. <laughs> That was a pretty good fireball. That. That was fun. Uh, all right. Stinking cloud. Come on, be nauseated. Nah. 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 Ooh, dirt just got walloped. 
Oh well. <laughs> oh my god, he's fighting. Actually, I'm gonna cast Magic Missile on him. A mace here, just so he can't cast. You take damage in the same round, you cannot cast a spell. And if you are casting a spell and get hit, See, you swung at us instead of casting a whole person. But if you're hit while you're casting a spell, you lose it. You do not pass go, you do not collect $200. Not affected. That's just poop. That is poop of the highest authority. There we go. Now he's nauseated. Good night. Uh, well, we got a fireball. Might as well use it, right? I mean, if you got it, use it, right? That's what I say. That's what I say. Uh, yeah, we got another one. Let's just use that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kaboom! Try not to hit Hamburger. He's got a ring of fire resistance. We should be all right. All right, that could have been better. Now let's have a face head over here. There we go. That worked out. Boom. I remember this fight being harder. I probably did it without three, four, four fireballs. <laughs> sure, now you can cast whole person. Now nah, it's fine. We're in the end game now. Late stages of this fight. Not much else is gonna happen. This guy hasn't gone yet. Blasted with a magic missile. It's absolutely trucked. This was an ass kicking. My word. Well, that's the Temple of Bane. Take money. Exit items. Ooh, that's a magical mace. And that's it. The real treasure is underneath the floorboards. On the dead body of the half orc cleric, you find a thing. All right, well. There was a journal entry there that I missed. Certain says, thank you for helping us regain our temple. I must stay here now. I bid you farewell. Good riddance, you jerk off. All right, let's go find the treasure. All right, there's one behind here. Yep, open trap door. 1400 experience. Ooh, all that stuff is good for us. That dust. That, can I tell you something about that dust? We're going to leave the other things. Don't need them. That dust wins you this game. You need that dust. That's the dust of disappearance. You cannot. There's one more right here. Wait. No, it's over here. There we go. Over here. You can't beat this game without... Well, you can beat this game without using that dust, but it's just a lot harder. Why would you make it harder on yourself? And then the last one, I think, is back here. Oh, no, it's closer to the uh, altar. It's like right here. Or here. Or here. Or here. Or here. There we go. Open trap door. Boom! I think all this stuff is plus one. The mace might be not... Take the mace. Whoop. Take the mace. Whoop. Okay, we're overloaded. That's a plus three hammer, I think, though. And if you're into hammers, you're going to want that. Hammers are a ranged weapon for fighters and clerics. What do we not need? I guess these regular arrows, just drop them. Take the mace. Probably actually gonna end up leaving everything else. I'm gonna try and take the mace, the morning star, and the hammer. Because I know those to be the most useful items. But we already had plate mail. We didn't have to buy some for dirt, and that's okay though. You know, honestly. That's okay. There's one more NPC who who will be helpful to us in the cobalt caves. We will give her the plate mail.
cheese have anything you can drop? Oh, we don't need this anymore. Heck no. We don't need the incense anymore either. I was just holding on to that for narrative purposes. Because in the graveyard, we can sanctify things. And the game just sort of assumes that you have stuff that can sanctify. Um, honestly, the clerics would have that stuff anyway, but let's just drop it. We don't need that incense. All right, uh, we're just going to rest. No one took any damage. Thank you, Fireball. Oops. And Stinking Cloud, too. You really helped. Basically, we want Fireball memorized for everyone who can cast it until, until we get to the castle. Because there are things in the castle that are immune to fire damage. That's when we, that's when we memorize the lightning bolt, which is fireball just goes in a straight line. And in second edition, it can bounce off walls and come back. <laughs> so awesome. So in this game, if you have like two enemies and then a wall, you cast lightning bolt, it'll hit the two enemies, bounce, and then hit the two enemies again. Hmm. So much fun. All right. That was the temple of Bane. Let's go back to, Town? No, we're not gonna go back to town. We're gonna go straight for Stoyanov Gate and we're gonna liberate it. Let's go. All right, so we've entered Potal Plaza from the wilderness. We left the Temple Bane, Koval Mansion area, went around, entered in through Potal Plaza. We're gonna go towards the north here. You have to do this mission during the day. Important to know. Because during the day, as soon as you go through this door, um, a man with a cart with trading goods can sell it to you. You can use that to infiltrate. That's what we're going to do. A man driving a wagon full of food and equipment starts to drive past you going north. Harley, I sure will sell you my wagon. All it'll, all it'll cost you is 250 gold pieces. How about it? Yes. Pleasure doing business with you. Here's your wagon. Oh, by the way, better beware of the guards. Ever since the giants moved into the castle area, bugbears have been stuck guarding the gate, and they hate it. Not only that, they're afraid of them etting. Makes them real jumpy. Wouldn't give them no back talk if I were you. All right, and here's the gate area. Before you is Stoyanov Gate. This ancient edifice is built across the bend of the river thus isolating the old town and the castle from the rest of the city. The main wall rises 30 feet, while the two watchtowers rise to 50 feet. Lounging around the entrance are a group of bugbears. Now, bugbears are big creatures. Big, hairy, mean um, overlords, usually to smaller things like goblins and kobolds and, and the like. Before the gate, you can uh, make out a man with a wagon of goods who is talking to two of the bugbears. Man hands something to the bugbears and the gates open. <laughs> Those are the bugbears in Pool of Radiance. Um, very goofy looking, but uh, hey, what are you going to do? Bugbear walks up to you. Okay, let's have the 15 gold. Do you pay him? Yes. Bugbear takes the money and the gate opens. You proceed through. Now that we're on the other side, we're going to go up the back way to the watchtowers and clear them out. There are giants and magic users. You want to go upstairs? Yes. You enter a guard room. There are tables, chairs, and beds here. All but two of the beds are 14 feet long. There are two humans and three Etten in the room. You overhear the fighter tell the mage, You better watch your talk. The last guy who gave the boss lip was thrown through the trapdoor to the Medusa. All right. That's a good tip for the castle for later. There is a Medusa somewhere. Etten, I should explain, are part of the giant family. Um, they are two-headed giants. They have two heads. They seem unaware of you. Combat! The alarm starts ringing. Good, I want it to ring. All right, what are we going to do here? That stinking cloud right there. Cast Stinking Cloud right here. All 
Cast whole person. Right here. That's all it'll work on. Alright, so that didn't work. Okay, now now they're all now they're nauseated. That's good. Well Hiya. Hiya. Oh. And they're not very smart. Oh, you were not getting away. <laughs> you tried to flee. It was not happening. Oh, come on, guys. Not from our two upfront fighters, one of whom is a thief. That was not going to be a thing. Oh, I forgot. Oh, no, I haven't been back to town. That's right. I was like, oh, I forgot to get everything uh, identified. Probably better to cast magic missile, honestly. Which is what he's gonna do. Eat it! Yeah, getting pelted with magic missiles, getting lit up! Got him. Excellent. Got a lot of experience for this as well. Oh, we don't have room for this stuff. Nuts. Uh, the ring is magical. Everything else we can leave. Um, the juice. You got stuff you can drop, right? I'll drop these darts. We don't need the darts anymore. Bracers of Armor Class 4 is going to give to the other NPC. We're just going to drop them. Don't need them. We have the chain mail for her. Take items. That's a ring of protection. Uh, you know what? The, item, the long sword might be magical. Let's just... Just, just in case. Yeah, we know alarm is sounding. I think we can rest here. Could be wrong. Well, I got her spells back. So that's good. There's nothing else here. What if we rest for a few more hours? Maybe the alarm will stop. Monster's charging toward you from the far tower. Okay, great. All right, well, there's a way to do it so the alarm doesn't go off. These are the guys from the other tower. Who are about to get a couple fireballs in the face. Make that three fireballs. <laughs> I'm not a very powerful fireball. Okay. The only one who can't cast fireball charges forward. Yeah. You get behind him. You cast magic missile. Get a turn. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's running away. We will not let you. You don't get away. Got him. Okay. Put your short bow away. No ring this time. Those arrows could be magical, but screw it. Let's leave it. It's slain the garrison now. Okay, alarm is sounding. A patrol giant led by a human fighter. Leader sees you. That's them. All right, this is not the way to do this. <laughs> this certainly is not. Those are actual giants this time. Hill giants. Oh, this is bad. Can't reach. You have to fight the uh, bugbears, too, at some point. <laughs> Giants throw boulders at you. 
And honestly, I'd rather have them throwing boulders at me than um, fighting melee, because their Thaco with boulders is a lot higher than their Thaco with their clubs. Like, I'd be shocked if they hit us with one of these. But it is different. I'm trying to save my last memorized fireball for the bugbears. Um, otherwise, you know, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with giants like this is really not a good idea. Not without any spells or anything. We're gonna use Thinking Cloud. Aid us in this fight? Oh, it's pretty effective. How many Sticking Clouds do you have left? You got two. Jesus getting blunderboard. Helping out cheese a little bit. Oh, a trail. They got a lot of hit points. Yeah, this guy's not getting away. Use the one of magic missiles. Yeah. Hmm. Magic missile. Not gonna be 12 damage. I got away. Nuggets. Okay. Um. Pretty sure all this stuff is magical. We don't have any room. It's gonna save the game. Ugh. God dang it. This is the exact same fight we just did. Okay. All right, now we're gonna go back through the gate. Son of a bitch. Try to parlay. All right, once more into the breach. Okay, now let's go through the gate. Bugbears were waiting on the other side of the gate. Good. That's where I wanted them to be. Teddy bears. <laughs> Fireball. Alright. Right here. Fireball solves any problem. You got bugbears? Fireball. No balls bothering you? Fireball. You got a lizard folk problem? Fireball. Can't pay your rent? Fireball. Having trouble at work? Fireball. <laughs> Stuck in traffic? Fireball. Instant fireball. Right away. Got it. 
You have taken the gate. You open the great portals as 20 human and demi-human guards immediately take possession of the guard tower. What a weird sentence. And the alarm stops sounding. Really annoying. What I would like to do is try and rest. All right, so we did it. We took the gate. So we're going to go back to town and we're going to get our reward for clearing the Temple of Bane and also for um, taking the gate. Temple of Bane, I think we already have our reward. We got the treasure, but we'll find out. Hey, made it back to town. Let's get that reward. Before I can offer any commissions, I must see if you're due a current reward. Your taking the gate will enable our forces to assault the enemy stronghold. Return there to lead the attack. Here is your reward. Heck yeah, 5,500 experience. We'll share that. Congratulations, you may keep all you found in the Temple of Bane as a reward. I can offer the following. Large tribe of kobolds. That's it. So we have the kobolds, we have the graveyard, and we have the castle. We're going to tackle... The Kobolds in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching Kelvin's Coin TV. My name is Ross. This has been Pool of Radiance. See you in the next one. Bye.